Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to create this model. This content is a continuation of the planning video we have here on the channel. I recommend that you watch the first video before starting this one. So, let's start by creating a plan to add our reference. I'm going to center it in the skin. Select the reference, just click and drag into the plan, and that's it. Let's start with a line outline this part of the model. Since we've already done some pre or planning, the modeling process will be much faster. After finishing the outline, add the edit spline and use the outline tool to create the new line from the one we created. We can delete these two segments and now adjust the vertices according to the planning. Here, we see how much easier our modeling process with our prior planning. We only use the move and snap to align the vertices, making the process cleaner and more objective. The space between the vertices can be changed but in principle, we will continue with the planning. We use the outline again to create these lines outside the piece. Remember to delete this line that we are not going to use and adjust the new vertices. Once it is done, we will adjust the height of the lines. We will create a copy of the first line to be the base of the model. Now we convert our points to the corner and adjust this line so that the first vertex is the one that it selected. Now we use the cross section. Just click on the first line and then click on the next ones to create the interior lines. To transform the lines into a mesh, we use the surface modifier. Change the path topology to zero and convert it to editable poly. Let's go to the top view and use the cut tool to create this outline of the parts ending in this corner. Now, in face mode, we use the extra tool on the back and then on this detail with the lowest value. To connect the detail, we create a line on the sides of the face and align it with the snap. We can delete all this face because we won't be used then. Once it is done, we must weld the points because they are separated in this part of the model. So we use the weld tool to weld. Now that we have this part created, I'm going to add a support loop up here and for the base of the model, hold down the shift button and use the scale tool to extrude the edges of the base. This way, we will have this outline that we created in the planning. For the hole, we create a new circle and center it in the skin. In interpolation, we change it to a value of 3 and we can convert it to editable poly. We will connect the points of the ends with the cut tool. We adjust the size and then we can delete the face that we don't need. Once it is done, we can join it our first mesh. Now with the bridge, we connect the edges on the side. Add a new loop with out one and connect it with the circle. To close the space, we use the cap tool. To ensure that the face is flat, we align it on the Z-axis. Once it is done, we have the base of the model almost finished. What we should do now is fill the mesh using the cuts. The main point is that you fill the mesh according to what was planned. That is why it is important to create a good plan with a large and functional mesh.
let's position some lines so that they are closer to the edge. Maintain the correct surface after the curve. We can delete these vertices of the circle. I will add a new loop in the center, making the mesh more uniform and adjusting some vertices. Let's create the hole at the top of the model. Again, we'll go to a circle and create the size of the hole. This time, we'll leave the interpolation at 1. We adjust the rotation of the circle and convert it to editable poly. We adjust the position and can delete this face. Again, with the circle, we use the shell to give thickness to the part. We position it a little higher and with the boolean modifier, we create the cuts in the base mesh. We convert it again and can delete this face from the inside. Using the target welds, we will join the points with the vertices of the circle. On the sides, we use the cuts to fill the shape. Here, I will organize this mesh better And now we can extrude downwards and apply a chamfer to the edge of the hole. To finish the model, we add some support loops to keeping the edge hard. With the symmetry, we see that this module is a little far from the center. Let's adjust it by aligning the sides on the x-axis and position it in the center of the skin. Let's do the same on the bottom. This time, align it on the y-axis. Here, we see that the module is working. Let's enable symmetry on the y-axis and add an edit poly. In this bottom part, we will delete the center of the hole. We align the edges on the x-axis again and use the bridge to connect the edges. In the center, we use the edge connects and finally the bridge again. Now, with the base model created, we adjust it according to the reference. In this step, we will break the symmetry of the model so that it's matched to the reference. It is worth mention that there is a perspective in the image that makes the base distorted. That is why we created the base stripes and not with the inclination inward as in the image. To adjust the central hole, we use the soft selection. We will adjust the fall off and position it correctly. I will create an extrusion on the bottom and then chamfer to keeping the edge hard. To finish, we use the open subdivide and the shell modifier to give thickness to the piece. And this is the final result. I hope you enjoy the content. See you in the next time. Bye. Subscribe to the channel. It's very important.